welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I am here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today we're going to be talking a little bit more about some terminology that may have been confusing for you in the past, but we're here to enlighten you and help you understand a little bit more about your products to make the shopping experience a lot easier. So you may or may not have heard the terms mass tone and undertone. Mass tone has to do with the color that a particular paint has as it comes straight out of the tube. Okay, so what does that color look like when you squirt it out of the tube directly onto your palette and stuff? Because if you're painting like an impasto style, mass tone is very important because that's exactly, it's directly proportional to the outcome that you want to see on the canvas. However, if you're using like a watercolor or an acrylic, mass tone becomes less important whereas you're really looking for what is called undertone. What does that color look like when it is diluted or watered down or it has medium mixed in it because that is the actual color that it will be on the surface that you've applied it to. So I have a couple of interesting colors here that I want to show you. Both of these are in mass tone right now. These are straight. This is straight out of the tube. This is American Journey Quinacridone Violet right here. And then this is Golden Nickel Azo Yellow, which looks a heck of a lot like a yellow ochre out of the tube, but I can tell you that it is not. And this is why understanding mass tone and undertone in your paint is particularly important. So you can see how thick and dense and highly pigmented this is, but you can see how different this color looks in mass tone compared to how it looks in undertone. It almost has a cool quality once you have thinned it enough with water. So that is an important color to understand. And then so is this one. This one's fascinating because it mixes great with everything and it's a great color to tone with. Um, and this is nickel azo yellow, but watch what happens when I cut it with a little bit of water. It doesn't look anything like it does in mass tone. You can see that it looks like a yellow ochre in mass tone and like almost like a lemon yellow or a Hansa when it is thinned down. Understanding the difference between mass tone and undertone is pretty important. We hope that this was helpful for you today in understanding the behavior and the quality of your paint and enhancing your shopping experience when you're making selections on your own. Enjoy!